All right, guys, we are back in camp, and Trolley wants to speak with us. First, we went to a camp to get some medicine for the natives, and now Trelawney has something to say. Just Let's right. listen to him. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. Well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Miss Charlie, the best place to be is not with the gang anymore, because... Not really a good place to be. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Is it Morgan. Rain's fault? Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony, but I feel with some non-tribe members present. Your chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Well, you know we have no Good choice, Arthur. Charles, I got I've saved Come your on. life. Do we it for me. go for Charles. We do Charles. it for Lenny. Come on. I miss Lenny. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Well, let's go. He is a smart man. Charles, that is. Arthur, he can be a little dumb sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he can be a little dumb. Did your story? Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son Again, had true a story. Mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not Maybe. asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites. How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason yeah. they're doing these things. Because they Look want at where we are now, Rain's Falls. Look, Look at where we are you now. See how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve Very those true. vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Would be nice. Okay, I don't mind this part right here, but I wish it still go slightly faster. Still has a pretty horse. I need that horse in my life. Well, Arthur's life. Even though spirit Here is beautiful. There's my men up ahead. Hello. We 
This way. Ooh. I was wondering what the Wapiti tribe spoke with. The Lakota language. Makes sense though. Considering where this location is based off of. Okay. Am I allowed to... Excuse me, Charles. It's not gonna let me take the gun off. Rude. Not that we really need to go guns blazing, but still. Got these measly little pistols that aren't my Captain normal Monroe, ones. We come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're friends. Uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. My God, Charles. Listen, Mr. That uh, knife. Uh, uh, Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. It's easier to Listen, pronounce. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I can't even move him. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties. Are you gonna be okay there, Arthur? Disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, yeah, I'm pretty like, sure Arthur's not gonna survive. You okay, man? Someone. Jax, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns. It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Jeez. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks mm. it's right. Because he thinks What's Monroe is a fancy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. No. Why does Favors care about the Indians? He Why shouldn't he? Down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's you know what the moral out. thing to do is, right, Arthur? Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? You what just want the oil. Favors? Well, that was remarkably unproductive. We said good I'm day. The federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh. Is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? I can't wait you a good day, me. sir. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. 
I don't want to kill this man. No, but I do want to kill that man. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Get off me. Let him go. You son of a bitch. Okay, I need a decent gun. Ow. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Look up behind the cuts it up. I can't do with these men. Yeah, but we can. Look out, they're still coming. Man, please hold your own leg. Kill those Indian lovers. Excuse you. Don't you know I kill racists? Run, horse. Was it? Was it really the last second of my life? What's our plan here? Find a love that make for the valley. Ah! How did this <sighs> go so wrong? Question is, are you surprised? You know he did. Oh, that's like. I remember grabbing another gun, but. Do we got a better idea? Space through them. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Alright. The station is gonna say there's a train there. It's smart enough to get him on it. Arthur, you're getting worse. Get out of here 
here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. I'll meet you back at camp. Long story. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <coughs> Are you okay? Uh, well, hello. Never better. What are you doing here? I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh, I wonder is very jealous. <laughs> if she's going to become Mother Superior <laughs> from the second game. What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I gotta I'm lose you here. Sister. Okay. Yeah, I got DB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy. Well, I watched him die. I weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall oh. try. I know you will. Good luck. Goodbye. On your mission. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay then, girl. It's such a nice little conversation. I'm not gonna lie. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this here. I will see you all in the next one. We are gonna go talk to Sadie and Dutch. And meet an old friend.